Welcome back to my most favorite Sega Genesis games of all time, and today I want to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis that was released in June of 1991. And I'm so excited to give you my reviews, give you you know how I feel about the game, and you know uh, honestly, this was the very first video game doc that uh, I had ever played when I was just a young child, and I just want to give y'all my true review on how I feel about it. So y'all stay tuned. I appreciate y'all for watching. It seems like yesterday that the high speed hedgehog Sonic first dashed into the gaming scene. It was in the game that made his debut Sonic the Hedgehog of Robin Stores in June 1991, refocusing the gaming market for Sega's 16 bit Genesis console and setting up the legendary rival with Nintendo's Mario and the Super NES. Its attitude, its fresh gameplay, and most of all, its incredible sense of speed made Sonic an instant classic. It's being played by millions of gamers on the Genesis and later systems through various re-release and inclusion in several retro compilations. Here on the Wii, it's been re-released yet again as a lunch title for the Virtual Console download service and through be played it plenty of times before and the old Sonic still holds up great, fun, fantastic, fast gameplay experience. Sonic the character was born of necessity. Sega saw that Nintendo was making a killing with the NES and its array of Mario starting platformers and decided that if Sega Systems was really going to make a dent in the industry, they've had to go head to head with the mustached man having a mascot of their own. The members of Sega's Japanese development teams were given a chance to come up with the creative ideas what that mascot would look like. While currently a game engine and style of play were born conceived to showcase the new star. As development moved toward a game focused purely on speed, the character candidates were narrowed down to a handful of animals designed, animals that could potentially run very fast and attack without losing their momentum. The team settled on two kinds of creatures that could roll their bodies into a ball, an armadillo and a hedgehog. The concept was that the ball could serve as a roller and jumping attack without slowing the game's sense of speed. The armadillo design wasn't dropped completely as later became a basis of Sonic Universe character Mighty the Armadillo, but the Hedgehog idea won overall giving rise to Sonic himself. In his first outing, Sonic finds himself opposing the mechanicized forces of Dr. Evil Robotnik. The mad scientist has taken over South Island, encasing its natural population of animals in cybernetic shells as he seeks to find the legendary Chaos Emeralds. As Sonic, it's up to you to platform your way through the robotic animal army gathering the animals for yourself and stop Robotnik's scheme once and for all. Sonic is less a platform jumping game than a platform running game. Through most of the game stages are built to showcase the character's speed and filled with springs, slopes, loop-de-loops to send Sonic sailing at a faster and faster velocities. Along the way, you gather rings, the glowing circle of collectibles serving both to increase your score and also to protect Sonic from emerald death. As long as you hold at least one ring, a collision with an enemy or environmental hazard won't kill you. There are also other things to grab. Protective shells, temporary invisibility, even extra fast running shoes that make Sonic dash at even more relentless rate. You can take the time to scour each stage finding and grabbing each of the hidden collectibles or just run as fast as possible to end the act. Sonic has act 3 each part zone and there are 6 of those. It's not an overly large number of stages but the game as a whole is highly replayable even after 24 years. Even after 24 years, actually 25 will be next year so hopefully whenever their 25th anniversary approach, hopefully they can give us a really really good game. And I'm really hoping that Sega would do something special with Sonic's 25th anniversary. The game still looks great. You'll be impressed by the clarity and color that comes through is on the Virtual Console Edition, especially if you're equipped with your Wii with the Power Progressive Scan. Few people realize how difficult it was to create Sonic's graphical engine, which allowed for the incredible rate of speed games known for. But the technical achievement impressed back in 1991, and it still does today. Even after 24 years, actually 25 will be next year, so hopefully whenever their 25th anniversary approach, hopefully they can give us a really, really good game. And I'm really hoping that Sega will do something special with Sonic's 25th anniversary. The game still looks great. You'll be impressed by the clarity and color that comes through is on the Virtual Console Edition, especially if you're equipped with your Wii with the Power Progressive Scan. 
Few people realize how difficult it was to create Sonic's graphical engine which allowed for the incredible rate of speed games known for, but the technical achievement impressed back in 1991 and it still does today. Alright, let's go ahead and go with the verdict. Sonic the Hedgehog was a wonderful classic game to hold down a spot in your heart. The only thing you should be holding back in your own personal history with the title, you may be one of the millions that have already played it to death over the years or you might have already owned it from other platforms. This Sonic has made encore appearances in the Sonic Mega Game Collection on the GameCube, PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, Dreamcast, and the list goes on and on and on. But anyway guys, if you're an old retrohead as such myself, go ahead and subscribe to this channel because I will start talking about a lot more retro games as soon as I'm done with my most favorite uh, Sega Genesis games of all time. You know, I got a lot of systems I want to, you know, I want to uh, talk about. You got, you know, you got the um, NES, Super NES, the uh, Sega Master System. You know, you got the uh, the Atari Jaguar, the Turbo Graphics 16, the uh, the Nintendo 64, the original PlayStation, the Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast. I could go all the way back to the SG-1000, which was Sega's very first console. So yes, I can I can go that far. I am a retro head. I love retro game so like i said as soon as i'm finished with with you know my uh, most favorite sega genesis games of all time i'm gonna go ahead and start talking about other stuff so i'm gonna i'm gonna try to hear up and, and uh get get these uh shipped to y'all i want to hear up and do this i know i'm been you know kind of lazy on this i started this like about three almost four months ago so i'm gonna go ahead and and go ahead um and finish the rest of these so i could go on and uh go uh, to another direction so y'all just let me know how y'all feel about Sonic the hedgehog do y'all love this classic game because this game turned me to a gamer i was very 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 hyped for this game when i was a young kid and it just i just wish that sonic could be the same like it used to be i, I wish sega could get their heads out their butts and give us real sega fans what we want but anyway guys i'm done with this video like comment and subscribe and once again this is your boy regame 27 and y'all have a good day